If you're studying the chemical elements in the periodic table with ages 10 to 16, here's a great resource you're going to want to know about, the Chemical Elements Coloring and Activity Book by Ellen Johnston McHenry. The book starts out with some definitions like what is an atom and what is an element. It tells how atoms can stick together to make molecules. And then it defines some terms that you may read later in the book, like atomic mass, isotope, neutrons, alpha particles, and radioactivity. It gives a brief history of how the elements were discovered. And it tells who invented the periodic table and how that came about. And then you get your own copy of the periodic table that you can color and some coloring suggestions over here so that you can color groups like the alkali metals, the transition metals, the nonmetals, the halogens, etc. And then of course we have the coloring pages. Most elements have two pages. The page on the right will be the pictures of places the element is found in nature or products where you'll find the element, different uses for the element. And then the facing page will have a few paragraphs of information and it won't be things like boiling point or density. It'll be things that students find interesting like who discovered the element and where it's found in the crust of the earth or maybe in the air or is it poisonous or do we use it in weapons or things like that that kids find interesting. And then below the information we have some pictures of molecules that contain the element. So here's some sample pages. And then when we get up to the higher elements, we have less information, just half a page, because there's less to say about these elements. Generally, they're artificial elements that are made in a lab, and often they exist for only a few seconds or a minute, so there's really not a lot you can do with them but you can find out who they're named after and where they were created. And then there's some word puzzles. And then some activity ideas. There are activities that you can do, play in a classroom. But a lot of them you could also do at home. There are some games. There's a game board you can print out, and some cards, quiz cards, and then there's a set of picture cards, and you can photocopy these onto cardstock and laminate them if you want to make a nice durable set to last a while. The first thing that kids like to do with these is just to arrange them into a giant periodic table on the floor or maybe on the wall or a table. And then you can also play some additional games with the cards by using the question bank in the back. There's 10 questions for each element, some easy, medium, and hard. And there's suggestions for how to use these questions to play review games after you've studied all the elements. And this book can be ordered just about any place you buy books online. Bulk or retail orders can be made through IngramContentGroup.com.